How's it going, friends? This is Jonas from Guys Casual. Mga kadalasan sa atin, meron tayong mga computer na hindi na talaga nagra-run as fast as we would like it to or maybe as fast as it did in the past. So in this video, tuturuan ko kayo ng mga specific tips. Some things that you may try on Windows that may improve your computer's performance. Wow. Now, obviously, wala talagang makakatalo pag nag-upgrade ka na ng yung mga hardware. But if you do have a lower-end computer, just like me, I have a lower-end laptop, some of these tips might help. Now, if you have a high-end computer naman, or you might just have upgraded, and something is still running or making your computer really slow, maybe you have some other issues and this probably won't help. But if your computer just gotten over the years, has gotten really slow, slower, or kind of slow, this would really help you to some degree. So to start, ito yung first tip natin. Okay, para to sa mga computers na merong mga high specs or very upgraded computers. So first off is you must check if your Windows 10 has the ultimate performance plan. In order to check that one, go to the start button and then select settings and in here you type in power plan and then you choose a power plan so if you can see here you have only two performance plan so we're going to put the third one which is the ultimate performance plan in order to do that one you go back here start button and then you type in command and you run command prompt as administrator now dito meron na tayong command na naka ready na which is this so we are going to copy and paste it here do not worry I'm going to put this on the description next is you press enter and there you go you already have your ultimate performance plan and then you exit the command prompt and then we go back here and then we press refresh and there you go you have your ultimate performance plan now for those computer who has a very high specs or very upgraded computer or PC you can use this one for your vi video editing and also for your gaming second tip is probably gonna make a difference if you have a very low-end computer or an old laptop and that is to turn off all the visual effects in Windows 10 now to get through this all you have to do is go here to the start button and then you type in performance and then you select adjust the appearance and performance of windows now in here what you're going to do is you are going to select adjust for best performance now with this it it is going to disable lahat ng ito what will happen to your window if you're going to apply this one your window probably will get a little bit ugly especially yung mga text magiging pangit yung windows mo medyo pangit din tingnan but ultimately it will give your computer the very best performance kasi all the visual effects all the delays due to the visual effects will be gone pero tip ko sa inyo you do this one in custom like you have to select the shadows under the windows show thumbnails instead of icons and also this one smooth the edges of screen fonts so ito lang tatlo okay na yan for me para naman medyo maganda na rin tingnan yung ating windows 10 the rest you disable na and then you click apply and then okay 
Now for our third tip, we must make the most out of our ultimate performance plan. Now to do this, we must go to the plan settings. And in here, on the turn off the display on battery, we must select never and also in the plugin select never also here select never next is you go to the advanced power settings first one is you go to the hardest here in on battery it must be zero also here in plug in must be zero so they are all in never next is you go to the desktop background setting here in the slideshow so here on battery this pause in plug in change moto to pause next is we go to the wireless adapter settings now in power saving mode dito sa on battery change mo lang to to maximum performance and sa plug-in din, maximum performance. Next is dito sa PCI Express, Link State Power Management. Dito, sa on battery, change mo lang to, to off. Next, dito sa processor power management. Dito sa maximum processor state. Sa on battery, so from 5%, change mo to, to 100%. Sa plug in okay na to 100 then next is dito tayo sa system cooling dito sa on battery change mo to from passive to active next is sa maximum processor rate if hindi ito naka 100% change mo lang to both to 100% next is we go to switchable dynamic graphics Dito sa global settings, change mo to on battery and change mo to, to maximum or maximize performance. And dito din sa plugin, change mo to, to maximum or maximize performance. Now, if your computer has an ATI graphics card or a Radeon graphics card, punta ka dito, dito sa ATI power play settings, change mo to to maximum or maximize performance and when also plug in change mo then to maximum or maximize performance and then you click apply and then ok and of course do not forget also to click save changes and then if you want you can now choose the ultimate performance for the fourth tip we are now going to speed up the boot time by disabling programs that we don't need to start up when Windows 10 boots. Now to do this, go here to the taskbar and then right click and then you select task manager. Once the task manager window opens, you go here to startup and then you will have here all your programs on your startup. Dito, Iseselect mo lang yung mga program na hindi mo kailangan na mag-start together with the Windows 10. So for example, dito sa akin, I have here the Wondershare Studio. Hindi ko to kailangan mag-start up, so I disabled it. Yan, if you want to enable it, just select the program and then click enable. So for example, this one, the Windows Security Notification icon. Currently, or by default, ito ay naka-enable. Kung gusto ko itong i-disable, select mo lang to, and then click disable. Yan, pa-disable siya. So, of course, tingnan mo rin kung ano yung program na na-start up. Like, for example, dito sa yung antivirus, dapat i-enable mo. Hindi mo i-disable. For our fifth tip, we are going to change some graphics performance preferences kasi mayroon talaga mga certain programs na we need to boost up the graphics performance. To do this, you go to start button and select settings. And 
here sa window settings you select gaming on the upper right corner of the window you select graphics setting and in here you can browse for certain programs and change the options of their graphics performance dito sa akin meron na akong dalawang na select itong legends of Runeterra at saka itong filmora 9 we're going to add another program all you have to do is click browse and then hanapin nyo yung program na gusto nyo i-add adobe so for example gusto natin i-add itong photoshop we select that one and click add and nandito na yung adobe photoshop now you're going to change the preference by clicking option and then select mo tong high performance and then click save so ngayon yung adobe photoshop na change na yung graphics performance preference nya so if you're going to run adobe photoshop right now it will automatically give a very maximum graphics performance for our sixth tip this is for those who has multiple operating systems on their computers or who are doing dual booting. As you may know, when the dual boot window comes out, it will take some certain amount of time like by default 30 seconds before it will select an operating system. Now you may lessen the time by doing this tip. In order to do that, you go here to the start button and then type this PC and then select properties and in here you go to the advanced system settings and then you select the advanced tab and then you go down here to the startup and recovery and then click setting now here you look for the time to display a list of operating system now again by default it will give you 30 seconds now you may opt to lessen this one up to 10 seconds if you want now again if you have a multiple operating system you can do this one but if you don't have you may opt not to do this now the seventh tip should be pretty obvious but this thing you really should probably try this one now it may be have a little bit of a difference or make a difference for your computer but there's no harm in trying now how to do this is you should go to your start button and then go to settings and then go to system and then go to notifications and action now in here we are going to disable the windows tips and tricks this one here you go here to get tip tricks and suggestions as you use windows you know you disable this one what this will do is that this will reduce the amount of windows uh, tracking what you are doing so it can pr provide tips for you so probably this can help you a little bit uh, to make your computer faster and now for our final and bonus tip i should mention this is really good for your computer most especially if it is running a low internet speed now i'm going to show you how to make your internet run faster most especially in windows 10 so how to do that we go to the settings by clicking the start button and then we select network and internet and then we go down here select network and sharing center and then in here you select change adapter settings now we have two connections here the ethernet and the wi-fi for now, we're going to check the ping of our internet connection. So, we open the command prompt by typing command. And we type here in the command ping. And let's just say we're going to ping google.com. As you can see, we are getting an average of 100 milliseconds. So we'll stop that for now and then we go back here and then we right click our ethernet connection and go to properties now in here you go and select the tcp ip version 4 and then hit properties now in here 
go to use the following DNS server addresses and then you put here this DNS numbers 8.8.8.8 and then for our alternate DNS server we put here 8.8.4 and dot 4 and then you click OK then click close and then close and then close now we will try to check again our ping so now we go back to the command prompt and then we type in back ping google.com minus t then press enter so as you can see we are now getting an average of 55 milliseconds of reply instead of a hundred Next is, we are going to disable yung mga background apps na nagraran inside Windows 10. Now we go here by clicking the start button and then selecting settings. And dito sa settings, we are going to select privacy. And here sa privacy, you go down to background apps. Now here, Kung titignan mo, you have a lot of background app. For me, I have already disabled some of the background apps na nagra-run. If you don't want this app running at the background of your win Windows 10, like your phone, Xbox Game Bar, Xbox Console Companion, Weather, hindi ko naman yan ginagamit, so pwede mo silang i-disable. Kasi itong mga app na to, if they are running in the background, they are also consuming some of your internet connection. If you want, kung gusto mo talagang sagaran yung pag-disable, you can disable all of them. So those are hopefully a lot of tips to make your computer run faster again. It has been running so slow, most especially using our bonus tip for making your internet run faster in Windows 10. So let me know what you guys think down the comment section, especially if this helped. And also, thanks for watching and please, do hit that subscribe button and notification bell. See you on the next video.